。安心64プレゼント。In September 2016, the Unseen 64 Collective released a book dedicated to lost video games titled Video Games You Will Never Play. The game you'll see in this video is one of the featured ones you can read more about in our book, which you can purchase now from Amazon. In only about four years of existence, United Game Artists managed to become one of the most original and beloved Sega development teams to ever exist, especially in the eyes of Dreamcast fans. Originally founded as Sega AM9 and led by designer Tetsuya Mitsuguchi, they released unique titles such as Space Channel 5 and Res. After Sega discontinued the Dreamcast in March 2001, United Game Artists released ports of Res and Space Channel 5 for PlayStation 2. While also starting development on two new projects, Res 2 and Busio 5. Busio 5 was a new original product by the developer, planned to be a GameCube exclusive, but not much info was ever released about it. Sega quietly announced the game in January 2003 as a new project by United Game Artists, along with other titles such as F Zero GX by Amusement Vision. And Skies of Arcadia Legends by Overworks. Takashi Yuda, who was the creator and director of Space Channel 5, started a small team to prototype an idea for a new action adventure game on GameCube. He was soon joined by Jake Casdall, at the time the only American working directly at United Game Artists on Space Channel 5 and Res. We got in contact with Jake. Who, after getting full permission from both Muzuguchi san and Yuda san to openly discuss the project, helped us to preserve some more memories about this lost masterpiece. According to the information we were able to gather, it seems that Busio 5 could have been a mix between Mega Man, Metal Gear Solid, Pikmin, Tokobot, and Ape Escape 3. If you think that sounds interesting, you aren't alone. Players would have been able to choose between five red robots, each visually in the vein of Mega Man, at least in terms of cute robotic characters with human like faces. Each robot had a different peculiarity voice, eyes, nose, ears, or brain. This would have allowed for different gameplay mechanics and encouraged different approaches when tackling the game's levels. For example, one robot could mimic voices exactly, one could see really well, one could smell really well. One could hear really well, and one was a genius. You would use these five together to infiltrate enemy bases and take on enemies as carefully as possible. These little robots could jump one on another to create a sort of robo tower to reach higher places. They could use their plungers to throw and stick themselves on walls to create new platforms. They could shoot different kinds of balls at enemies, create soap bubbles, rotate wood planks to fly or to propel a boat, and much more. Unfortunately, as it often happens with the most original and interesting games, marketing decisions killed off the project. The president of Sega of America at the time went to Japan to evaluate new in house games as possible products for the American market. He was not interested in a quirky, cute adventure game like Busio 5. Sega of Japan said they would have to stop financing the project if the American branch wasn't going to be able to publish it as well. So the plug was pulled and Busio 5 became another lost game we'll never play. United game artists were crushed when their last dream game was Can 2. It seemed that during that time, there was no place for such avant garde, experimental games at Sega. Not long after Busio 5 was cancelled, many key staff at United game artists, such as Tetsuya Mitsuguchi, Katsumi Yokoda, Ruichi Hattori, Jake Kazdal, and other key staff left. And the developer quickly ceased to be. Those that remained at Sega merged with Sonic Team and ended up working on the Stylus DS games, Feel the Magic, XYXX, and the Rub Rabbits, and many of them are still there. In October 2003, Mitsuguchi founded Q Entertainment along with Yokota and other former Sega developers to keep working on interesting music game hybrids. This led to the creation of projects such as Blue Mines. Medios, and Child of Eden. In 2009, Jake Kasdow founded the indie studio 17 Bit, releasing original games such as Skulls of the Shogun and Galaxy the Dimensional. United Game Artists will always be remembered for having continued, till the very end, 
to create original games and following their own sense of creativity. Today, their unique style is thankfully still kept alive by the team's former members. You can read more about Busio 5 and many other cancelled projects in Unseen 64's first book, Video Games You Will Never Play, now available for purchase on Amazon. Unseen 64 is an independent collective of gamers from all around the world, and in our website we try to remember cancelled, beta, and unseen video games. Please consider to support Unseen 64 on Patreon to help us to keep the site online and to remember more games that could be lost and forgotten. Thank you for your support.